An opal such as that shown in the figure acts like a reflection grating with rows separated by about 8 micrometers. If the opal is Let's try that again. If the opal is illuminated normally, letter A, what what angle will the red light be seen? Okay. So for letter A, what we need to do is we need to use these formula. Huh, who would have guessed the past 30 problems have involved that formula? Wow. So sign actually I had a friend of mine went to uh, Stony Brook. What are their physiology tests? Every answer on the test was B. Could you imagine could you imagine taking the test and you're getting all B's and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna fail this freaking test? <laughs> Meanwhile you get a hundred. Oh goodness, the stuff they do. So anyway, uh sure. This is the formula we're gonna need. All right, and uh, what they're asking us is they're asking us for the angle, so we got to divide D on out. Then take the inverse sine of both sides. So that's the inverse sine, right? This is very quick at this particular point in time. And that's it. All right, so now what we need to do is plug in the numbers. So M, they don't give you the order of the max, but it says we're going to assume that it's the first order, all right? That it's going to be illuminated under the first order maximum. The wavelength here, uh, they said for red light, so you need to know the wavelength for red light. The wavelength for red light, it has the longest wavelength, okay? So that's going to be the 760 times 10 to the minus uh, ninth. That's it in meters. And then divide that now by the distance. And it says the rows are separated by about 8 micrometers, so they told you the separation there between the slits, basically. So that's times 10 to the minus 6. Convert that all into meters. And let's go about... The calculation. So this is inverse sine of 760 times 10 to the minus 9th divided by then 8 times 10 to the minus 6th. And this angle works out to be about 5.45 degrees for the red light. And maybe I should have put this in red, huh? So why don't we just change that color? We'll go to red. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right, so letter B, it says, at what angle will the blue light be seen? So you have to know the wavelength for blue light. So that's about the 460 nanometers. So literally just, you know, plug that value in now. This is inverse sine of then uh, 460 times 10 to the minus 9th divided then by 8 times 10 to the minus 6th. And then this is going to work out to be now uh, 3 point, I guess, 3 zero, considering the rounding. And that's it. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.